San Diego is walking off the field. It's a sight you just don't see in professional sports. The San Diego Loyal soccer team simply walked away in forfeit on Wednesday night after alleging that an opposing player used a homophobic slur that the referee didn't catch. Homophobia, racism. Right. Guys, he no said, listen, he said something in a language that I don't understand. I don't understand. exactly what it, I can do what for you. Okay. Make him mean gay. San Diego coach Landon Donovan didn't just take exception to the alleged slur, but also who it was aimed at. I'm Colin Martin. I play for Minnesota United and I am coming out tonight as a gay man in the Major League Soccer. In 2018, Colin Martin, then a member of the Minnesota United, came out in a Breaking the News exclusive interview, becoming the only openly gay male athlete in any of the Big Five professional sports leagues. And even then, he knew he might have nights like he did on Wednesday. There's going to be that small few that, that maybe are going to try to uh, try to bring you down, but there's only so many people that, that you care about and that love you, and, and that's all that matters. Them walking off the field was a powerful statement, and it, it, it was really, it was beautiful to see, honestly. Ivis Galarsip is editor-in-chief of SBISoccer.com and says to understand why San Diego walked off, you first have to understand what happened during the last match. Just a week ago, uh, San, San Diego had one of its players uh, be the subject of, of, a, of a racist slur, and that was actually... Uh, th that was f uh, found to have actually happened. And the player uh, who played for uh, LA Galaxy 2 was suspended and actually was was waived by uh, by the team. He's, he's been cut. We made a vow to ourselves, to our community, to our players, to the club, to USL, that we would not stand for bigotry, homophobic slurs, um, things that don't belong in our game. Donovan says the team had planned to keep playing on Wednesday, but only if the opposing coach subbed out the player who allegedly made the slur, but he declined. Talk, this is what's going on. It's not racism, it's not gay. It's homophobia. How long have you been playing soccer? Guys, listen, this is what's going to happen. The Phoenix coach's reaction was very disappointing because he pretty much made it seem like it, it, this is just part of the game. It's just part of the game to trash talk. In a statement today, the USL said homophobic slurs will not be tolerated in USL matches, and an investigation is currently underway. It looks pretty clear there that, that something happened. If he said it, then he has to he has to face the consequences and, and face punishment. But it, it can be tough if there is no evidence of it. To, to prove if he said it or not. Whoa! The player accused has issued a strongly worded denial, but no matter what happens, Ivis says the strongest statement came from Colin and his team. They had a lot on the line. They, they, they were still fighting for their playoff lives and, and they were actually winning the game. They were winning three to one. They pretty clearly saw this for what it was and, and they, they could see the hurt in Colin Martin. He just looks so dejected and defeated and it's obviously, a, it's gotta be a brutal situation because it's like, you're gonna feel like, you know, I wish I could just be a player and not have to deal with this, and so my team wouldn't have to deal with this. Now, Colin did issue a statement this afternoon, talking again about exactly what happened, what he says he heard and heard from the play. That's not all that he had. In fact, he went on to say, and I want to read here, what followed next is what I truly want to focus on, and that is the response of my coaches, teammates, and organization. Their collective decision to walk off the field in solidarity and forfeit the match speaks volumes of their sport for me and what this organization is standing up to. Chris? All right, Kent, as you mentioned, Colin knew he might get some pushback after coming out in 2018. Has he dealt with other issues like this in other matches? Well, Chris, he acknowledged that he has heard these kinds of slurs before. In fact, the specific kind of slur that was uttered in Jamaican, he's heard that, he said, as well, but not on the pitch. He said that this is the first time since then that he's heard that slur used in an actual game, and that's what really stopped him in his tracks last night. Yeah, Kent, Kent Erdahl, thank you. What a statement. I mean, walking off when you're winning 3-1 to one like that. Appreciate you. All right, coming up. I'm